So this is a new tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can upload files using the Flask which is a micro framework. So here we, we are in the, uh, this is the command line and I will uh, disable the server for a moment. And after that I will uh, ensure that you have installed uh, these extensions or this you should install the baseline which is Flask and you should also install the extension we, which we are going to use which is this Flask and dash upload you must be sure that you have the if uh, is capital and uh, u is capital and after you install all this you can go here and uh, from the main Flask we will uh, import the Flask object and also we will import the render template and also we will import the request and from the Flask uploads which is the extension which we have installed already now we will import the uh, image set so already we have uh, we must uh, uh, import upload set and configure upload images and after that you should have an app which is inherited from flask object and we can also configure now we have an upload set of the name photos and type of images and after that we must say app.config and uploaded images this will be here static at image and uh, let's go here and uh, configure uploads of app and photos now we are ready to make our uh, root which is upload and have the methods of first method will be get and second method will be the post and after that we can define upload function which is an a view and uh, this has no parameter before we get started we will make before we get started, we'll make the HTML file uh, re uh, related to this function, which is a template, and we will can start from the uh, this boilerplate, and we will say that this file upload test any uh, thing, and we can now define a form, and this form has a URL, URL uh, for uh, upload, which is the here this upload. URL which is this uh, upload upload and after that we can say that the method will uh, be post method and again we have uh, the form so if uh, you will save and files or upload files you must include this ink type multi bar for me that this is an obligatory thing and after that we will say that we have input and this input will be a uh, name of a photo and uh, again we have an input type will be submit and name or value value will be uh, upload now And this input, we will say that this type will be a um, file. So let's now go to uh, write our function or view function. So if we have the request dot method equals post and and photo is uh, or in request dot uh, file then do something so we have 
So we will define this uh, photo as a file name, and this file name will be request dot files of uh, this photo, and we have this photo, and we will save photos dot save this request.files and after that we will return the file name and after all we will return render template from this tutorial.html so you must sure that this file any template uh, you will render you must be inside uh, here inside this template and uh, let's go to delete all this for a moment and after that we have this one let's go uh, so uh, if we have the method to post we will upload on something if you are uh, going to the first time you view this page you will see and get a method which is re uh, render our template after that we can if uh, we can run our basic application which is very simple and uh, after that we will run this app using the app.run function and make sure that you have the debug which will be true uh, let's save our file let's see what we have here uh, we will uh, run this from the command line and we will say uh, version 3 tutorial dot by and it say uh, that uh, upload set here so from uh, this uh, upload you must uh, from the extension you will import the correct thing and it's running correctly and let's see what we have uh, and, uh, and I will go here so I will go to this directory and go for the upload and it say uh, choose the file we will choose uh, some file which is here and let's upload and it say request has no attribute file it's here files not file let's see what errors uh, we can get also let's uh, make sure that the server is running and let's go back and refresh our page and it has uh, shown our file Let's select another file which is image and oh, uh, this application only upload images and let's go back and upload some images which is here and again go back and upload a lot of images and go here so if you uh, select the visual code and see so we have four photos which we are here and all this has been uploaded using the script which we have written uh, in this moment and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you in the next tutorial